So in previous video we have solved two examples or two questions related to the unit conversion. We calculated the molarity, molarity and mole fraction. So here is one more question that, that you have to solve with your own. And the question is what is the molality of uh, 5 gram of diiodomethane dissolving in 1 liter of ethanol and the density is given of ethanol is 0 0.791 gram per ml. So how will you solve this question? There is This is a kind of hint is given here. A strategy is first you have to calculate the moles of the solute, then calculate the mass of the solvent in kilogram and then divide moles by mass of the solute you, to get the molarity. So this is the hint you should solve with your own and in continuation of that part we are going to study the colligative properties of the solution and for the colligative properties we have to understand what are the electrolytes first. So we have to review about the uh, electrolytes first. So this is the again part of uh, general chemistry one part but we have to review once again here to understand this colligative properties. So as we know that the solute are will be two types of solutes. So whenever we dissolve any substance in the solute that is called the solute and solute could be electrolyte and non-electrolyte. So what is the meaning of electrolyte? The substance that dissociate into ions when dissolve in water that is called the uh, electrolyte. For an example, if we add sodium chloride into water right sodium chloride into water it will dissociate into sodium ion and plus chloride ion so sodium chloride will be called as a electrolyte on the other hand non electrolytes the substance that do not dissociate into ions when added into water and they are two types so the substance which do not dissociate for an example sugar sugar or glucose Sugar molecule or glucose molecules they are uh, remain as a molecular form they do not dissociate so that is why they are called non electrolyte. Non electrolyte could be insoluble ionic compound or molecular compound. So sugar and glucose molecules are called molecular compound and other than acid and bases. So they will not be acid nor bases. So further electrolytes are dissociate um, classified into two groups that is called strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte. So what are the strong electrolyte? Strong electrolytes are compound that completely ionizes into solution. For an example, soluble ionic compound or soluble salt, any any ionic compound which soluble in water and uh, that is called basically salt and strong acids strong bases i just abbreviated here a strong acid sa strong base sb and weak electrolyte are those compounds that partially ionizes into solution or partially dissociate into ions for an example weak acid weak base so any weak acid or weak base will be uh, we can say as a weak electrolyte so next uh, what are the strong acid and strong so there are seven known uh, strong acid you have to memorize these that uh, hydrochloric acid hydrobromic acid hi is hydroiodic acid hno3 is nitric acid h2so4 is sulfuric acid SClO3 is chloric acid and SClO4 is perchloric acid. So these are the seven strong acid. You have to memorize their formula and name and they are always behave like a strong electrolyte. Remaining acids are considered as a weak acid and they will be weak electrolyte. So a strong acid, a strong electrolyte, weak acid, weak electrolyte. What about the bases? Bases uh, are also categorized like strong base and weak base so what are the strong base so group 1a metals hydroxide are called strong base for example sodium lithium potassium rubidium B and cesium hydroxide so they are if you remember the periodic table so on the far left first first group right on the left side so this is the periodic table 
and the first left from top to bottom that is called the group group 1a is called metal hydroxide so our uh, group 1a metal hydroxides are the strong base and group 2a the neighboring neighboring group which is fourth calcium strontium barium radium so heavy group metals so this the second group is called heavy group metal or alkali metal and alkaline earth metal we can also say like this so calcium hydroxide strontium hydroxide barium hydroxide radium hydroxide so these are all strong base and strong base are strong electrolyte remaining bases are considered as a weak base example ammonia ammonia is also considered as a weak base so weak base behave like a weak electrolyte so here is a very important uh, slide we have to uh, memorize this one or uh, this is a solubility rule so this you will come many times in front of uh, this slide so i will say 100% that you need to print out this slide and uh, keep looking every day so that you can memorize this one so soluble salt what are the soluble salt or what are the solubility guideline for common ionic compound soluble ionic compound and important exceptions so all the acetate for i can hold it will like this one so all the nitrates are soluble there is no exception all the acetate or soluble there is no exception but chloride chloride bromide and iodide are uh, and sulfate they are soluble but they have some exception like silver chloride mercury chloride lead chloride so these are insoluble compound silver mercury and lead usually halide mer uh, silver chloride bromide or iodide mm, lead and mercury halides are insoluble barium strontium mercury and lead sulfates are insoluble group 1a ions and ammonia is soluble there is no exception next is insoluble ionic compound so sulfides are usually insoluble except compounds if they have ammonium sulfide or alkali metal sulfide so the sulfide of these with these uh, ions will be soluble carbonates are usually insoluble phosphates are insoluble hydroxides are insoluble but of these they will be soluble so this uh, is very important solubility table you have to uh, keep remember every time next is uh, the classification of compound so is what is the meaning of a strong electrolyte a strong electrolyte will be dissociate or ionize completely or 100% in the solution example strong acid strong base and soluble salts what are the weak electrolytes weak electrolyte dissociate or ionize partially in the solution example weak acid and weak bases non electrolyte non electrolyte are those substances they do not dissociate in the solution for an example molecular compound and insoluble salts so here we have one table which we will understand very carefully that we have to classify these compounds for an example c6h12o6 this is a molecular compound and uh, usually molecular compounds are non electrolyte and number of particle dissociate into ions so whole this is the whole molecule it do not dissociate into ions right so if i will say we have one molecule so we will still get only one molecule sodium chloride is a ionic salt this is ionic compound it dissociate into two ions sodium ion and chloride ion it is a strong electrolyte a strong electrolyte k2so4 is a strong acid this is an ionic compound a strong acid is a strong electrolyte a strong acid is a strong electrolyte it will dissociate into two potassium ion and one sulfate ion so total three particles you will get it silver nitrate uh, all nitrates are soluble this is an ionic compound a strong electrolyte and you will get two ions from here so one is silver ion plus nitrate ion next is silver chloride silver chloride is an 
ionic compound but remember in the previous solubility table that uh, chloride of the silver do not uh, ionizes so it is a non electrolyte and if you have one molecule it will remain as a one molecule ammonium phosphate is an ionic compound and it is also a strong electrolyte because when it will dissociate into ions it will give you three ammonium ion and one phosphate ion total four particles you will get it number four and calcium carbonate calcium carbonates all carbonates are insoluble usually and except some exception but calcium carbonate is like a chalk example of chalk so this is an ionic compound but non electrolyte and if we have one molecule it will remain as a one carbon dioxide gas is a molecular compound it's a non electrolyte and it don't dissociate and if you have one mole it will remain as a one mole so this table is very good to understand what are the different types of how to classify each compounds into ions and uh, if they are electrolyte or non electrolyte and uh, they are how many ions we will get it so in the next uh, uh, video we will study about the the types of the colleg colligative properties and how we can calculate those one.